Welcome back everybody. We spent a lot of time prepping the bus for paint and hopefully today is the day that we get it done or at least started. And hopefully it's the last time it's going to look like this. Let me start by saying I'm not a professional painter, so take it easy on me in the comments. <laughs> I've, uh, I've only painted some rooms and some houses before. What we're doing first is taking a brush and coming through all these areas the, where the curves and the crevices and all that stuff and we're using a brush to get all that and then I'm going to come back and use a roller to get all these big broad areas so and the, there's a big difference like when you're painting a house or, the, or a bus um, painting a wall in the house the drywall the, it'll or if it's wood that will kind of absorb some of the paint this does not absorb any of the paint it just has to dry on there it seems like so that's what we're doing I'm gonna keep working. I think I also forgot to mention what color we're going with. Picked like a, a bluish color, almost has some gray in it. It's called Bearing Wave. Let me see if I can get that. So we think that's gonna look pretty good. And then um, of course the top will be white because we're gonna seal it. But the rest of the bus is gonna be this color of blue. So what happened on this side is I've never used an airless paint sprayer or any paint sprayer before in my entire life. And I decided to just go ahead and start painting the bus with no experience whatsoever in a paint sprayer. And uh, it just went on super thick. And instead of stopping and trying to figure stuff out, I just kept going to the whole side and it uh, didn't turn out good. So I had to go back and sand the entire side down again. This whole, this whole side of the bus had to sand down, put new primer on, and I did that. And then I thought I'd be smart and do the other side with this paint sprayer without getting any practice or watching any videos about how to do it. Same thing happened, except over there, I stopped after a few windows because I knew what had happened. I had to sand it all down again. So I had to sand down that part again. And after that, I just decided to stop messing with the paint sprayer and start rolling it on. So that's what we're doing today. And this is the last time it's gonna look all junkyardy like this primer and blue paint and yellow paint and all kinds of messed up stuff so hopefully it turns out good and it looks like we want it to
this on. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So I'm gonna try something different. It's gonna throw the paint on. It's not working. Oh, the lid's on it. There we go, took the lid off. Maybe it'll work now. There, that was easier. and I'm done painting. Probably come out in the morning and do a walk around since the sun's setting, show you the whole bus painted. I do have to do some touch-ups here and there, but most of the spots you can't see unless you're right up on it. And I'm thinking to myself, if somebody's that close to my bus, they, they either aren't supposed to be there or they have a reason to be there because I invited them, so. Okay guys, here we are the next day. The bus is all painted, dry, and I think it turned out pretty good. There are a few spots I have to go back and do some touch up. A couple spots I missed and I'll show you that in just a minute. That's what it looks like overall. Now the top up here, I'm not, it's not a straight line. I'm not worried about that because I'm gonna seal the roof and that's gonna come down and overlap the paint and I'll make a straight edge when I do that. I think the color looks good. Gotta remove this reflector still, and then need to get inside the handles to open up the under storage. It's a couple spots around the door too that I missed. I gotta go back and get those. But overall, I think it turned out pretty well. I couldn't get in between here all the way between the, uh, the actual bus and the fender. So I'm gonna have to take this off. There's a couple of bolts that hold it on. And then also inside, I forgot about the inside of here. You can really see the yellow. So I'm gonna cover that up with some black paint, I think. I'm not gonna worry about making that blue. I think I'm just gonna get some, maybe some cheap, cheaper black paint and just cover it up. Maybe even spray paint it, I haven't decided yet. It's gonna get dirty anyway and rocks are gonna hit it. And, doesn't need to be nice. The grill is going to be black, I think. Then paint that blue. Got to re remove it and paint that a separate color. And obviously the light's going to go back in here and cover all that yellow up. You won't be able to see that. Same thing on this side. Couldn't get in there all the way, so I'm going to have to take this off. Or at least take those bolts off and pull it away a little bit to get some paint in there. All right, guys, so there it is. The bus is all painted. Um, let us know what you think in the comments of the color. I think it turned out well. Uh, next up, we got to reseal all the windows. We're going to take them out first, clean them, reseal them all. And then uh, we're going to start building stuff. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for us moving forward, leave them down in the comments. And uh, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and follow along on our adventure of converting this into an RV. See you guys next time. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back.